Hello, it's Steve from Steve's Makerspace, and today I am looking at Art Breeder. This is a program available on the web uh, for free. You can make art, um, sort of. You're actually combining images and changing images, and AI is changing the images for you. So you're not actually like using a paintbrush. But this is really interesting. It's a little bit clunky trying to figure out how to use it and they don't have any instructions so I had to have to figure it out on my own. So when you first get here, uh, it just shows you a bunch of images. You can browse images and then search and we can like look for Gandalf. Uh, so then you can pick uh, Gandalf. Oh, this is the other guy. Uh, let's pick him. So then you can change, say, his age. So let's de-age him, make him younger. And the AI is going to work. And there he is as a younger person. Let's give him blue eyes and then make him a little bit more happy. He's kind of depressed. Okay, I'm not sure that if that's happy, but um, let's uh, maybe decrease his facial hair a little bit. Oh, no, no, no. Let's give him his facial hair back. Sometimes it, uh, it looks a little bit odd. Let's make him a little bit more Latino, maybe? Let's see what happens if I do that. Whoa, okay, I didn't expect that. That's, it looks a bit odd. Let me uh, decrease the Latino a little bit. Hmm, maybe a little bit more Latino? I don't know, it, it's not working very well with this. But you get the idea, this is uh, what you can do. Now the other thing you can do is you can do a crossbreed, which is, okay, let's do, oh, it's, it changed it back to him. That's not what I expected to happen. Oh, well. All right, we'll start over with his, this guy, and we're going to crossbreed and now select a second image. And so I'll do a search. Let's put in a hobbit. Let's try crossbreeding him with this guy and see what we get. Hey, there we go. That that worked pretty well, I think. We can change this to be more towards the uh, gray, what was he, the gray warlock or something like that. Uh, if we change this over to here, it should make him a little bit more like this guy rather than more like this guy. Uh, and then we can change the style. So if we click over here, we probably will get more green in the background, I'm guessing. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Let's go back to create and try something different. We'll do a landscape this time. You can upload an, your own image if you want. I'm just gonna use the images that are already there. There's also this animate feature, which I'm not gonna use. Let's go to compose. Now this part I'm a little confused about because it selects what seem to be like random images. I don't know where it's getting these images from but I can select a parent so we can search. And let's look for, say, a castle. Here we go. We'll do this one. So I think we've got a castle. Now, if I click on this now, is it gonna use that? Let me see. Okay, it used, one of these looks like this. The other ones look kind of odd. Uh, maybe there's this chaos thing. Maybe if I reduce the chaos, now it wants me to select a gene. I don't know what this gene is about. Let's select this gene, I guess. I don't know what that's going to do. And then we'll click on this, which I think is a refresh. It seems to have gotten rid of the castle. I don't know what's going on. Okay, I don't know what it's doing. What is going on? All right, I'm just going to try browsing and start with my castle from the browsing, maybe. Oh, I've got a lot more options for castles when I browse. This one looks interesting. Okay, so I can start with this, and then I've got these things I can change. So valley, mountain, architecture. I don't know what architecture does. Let's increase architecture. No, I don't think so. Let's decrease architecture. Whoa, it's completely got rid of the castle. <laughs> All right, let's put that back to zero. Uh, what if we increase the art? I don't know what that means, but we'll try increasing that. 
Whoa, that's crazy. It made it wackadoodle. What happens if we decrease art? All right, I guess it's making it more realistic looking. Let's make it brighter and we'll increase vegetation. Oh, that did something weird. All right, could put that back. What happens if we increase trees? There aren't any trees right now. Okay, there's trees. Castle's gone though. Uh, let's decrease that. Uh, sort of. Can we can we still see a castle? I don't think so. Let's decrease that again. All right, castle's back. Um, what if we increase some fog? Makes it kind of hard to see. And we have some C. What do we what do we do if we decrease C? It seems to have gotten taller. Did it just get taller? The hue. Let's uh, decrease the hue. Oh, that made it more blue. Let's go the opposite direction. Ooh, okay. I think we'll put it back. It's kind of hard to see the castle now. I think maybe, um, let's try to put the C back to what it was before. Maybe the castle will come back. Yeah, it doesn't really look like a castle anymore. Just, I don't know. Well, anyway, that's a thing. Yeah, we can click save, and then it's going to go into my saved area. I can go to profile uh, and see the things that I've saved. Some of these things I saved by accident. I didn't actually mean to save all of this stuff. This was a mix of Snape and Harry Potter. Uh, if you mix them, this is the guy who comes out, which he looks like he's like a leading man in a movie, doesn't he? But this was something that I created. Uh, I don't even remember exactly how I got this created. Let's go back to create paintings. I think that's where I started from. And then we'll go to compose. And then it's, it's giving me, I think, some random stuff to start with. But let's try to select. Let's see if we can get it to work this time. We'll select a parent. Is there any Monet in here? Ah, okay. We got some Monet-like things. Um, I think this is the thing I made. It's, I tagged it Monet, so it's coming up. So we'll start with that. Will it work? I don't know what it's choosing. Let's try... Oh, that one is close to what I had here. Okay, let's click on this one. And that just moved it down here. So now we'll click on this, and now we have some options. So we can increase expressionistic. Okay. What if we decrease expressionistic? Oh, geez. Took it all out. Okay, let's put it close to zero again, and then we'll increase fauvism. I have no idea what that means. And what if we decrease fauvism? Um, hmm. Okay, let's try to put that back to zero. How about pointillism? I know what pointillism is. That's when you draw with little dots. So we'll increase pointillism. It's already a bit pointillistic. Aha, uh -huh. made it very pointillistic. What if we decrease pointillism? Oh, made it less colorful. That's unfortunate. How about bold colors? Let's increase that. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. And if we decrease bold colors? Boring. Um, let's increase, we got flowers one and flowers two. I don't know what that does. Increase flowers one. I just drew a bunch of flowers, okay. Uh, decrease flowers one. Okay, that's different. So it just created some new art randomly that didn't exist before. So I don't know how it came up with that. Let's put that flowers back to about zero and do flowers two up and that looks like our original painting uh let's do flowers two down interesting don't know why it did that but that's interesting let's put that back to close to zero and we have gold nouveau let's increase that oh okay let's decrease gold nouveau Hmm. All right, put that back to zero. Let's increase abstraction and let's decrease abstraction. So that is interesting. Let's, what is genre painting? Let's put that to zero and we'll increase genre painting. Whoa, 
Where did it come up with that? Okay, um, let's decrease genre painting. Huh. What if we made genre painting way out? Where did it come up with people? That is so weird. Well, let's put that close to zero. So knowing what it does now, sort of. Uh, let's try increasing flowers to decrease expressionism. Let's increase Bauvism and increase Gold Nouveau. That's pretty interesting. How about increase abstraction? Let's make it a little brighter and maybe increase bold colors. And let's increase expressionistic back up a little bit. Let's increase seascape a little bit. I haven't done that one, but it kind of got rid of the pond. Maybe this will bring the pond back. Ooh, no, it did not. All right, put that back. Whoa, okay, I went negative seascape. And now it's a lot more flowery, crazy. What happens if we increase uh, buildings? Oh, weird. I don't like that. Let's put it back. Maybe increase trees a little bit. And let's increase flowers one. Oh, no, 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 no. Back down. All right. I, I think I've made a mess of it. It's, it's kind of interesting, but not quite what I wanted. What would happen if we increase you? Hmm. Decrease you? Ah. Let's put it back closer to what it was. Let's increase saturation and we'll make it brighter again. Okay, it's a little weird, but it's something. <laughs> so that's that's what you can do with this thing. We'll save that and then we can give it some tags if you want. We'll call it Expressionist Flowers. Another thing we have is uh, Characters. So I can click on Characters compose and we can let's see what it br brings up automatically so let's say we have this person who is pretty plain looking let's give her some armor well, giving her armor made her face look a little weird and she doesn't really have armor let's try increasing her armor some more hmm uh let's try giving her a helmet hmm looking awfully dark there isn't a brightness here so she's female maybe if we make her male i think increasing this makes her male i think oh no that that was increasing the female now she's more female okay that makes sense human you make her less human she still looks pretty human let's make her more human hmm okay let's put her back the way she was what if we made her more soldierly i guess less soldierly more ninja i don't know what that means all right can we make her more green i don't know what that means hmm more blue oh there we go what if we made less green less red oh it made her more dark let's make it more red now it's more purple oh well, it looks kind of interesting what if we uh, decrease hue oh and what is color Let's increase color. Oh, like a rainbowy. Let's in decrease that a little bit. That's too much color, I think. Yeah. Increase saturation. Yeah. Put it back. All right. Let's take a look at her. Her face is a little wonky, but yeah, she looks pretty good. So that's making a character. Pretty neat. Oh yeah. And then this is children. So if I click on children. It'll give... Oh, it went back to what it was before. Why did it do that? And I hit backspace. Let me... What happens if I do this? No, I lost her. She's gone. Oh, man. All right. Uh, darn it. All right, so that, that's one of the things about this. It's a little clunky. <sighs> lost all my work. I, I guess I should have hit save before I did that. Well, if we say children, if this person had children, and we don't have a mate for this person, but if we did, if, if she had children, what might those children look like? So this one looks pretty different. We can do the sliders to make them more different from her or more similar to her. So if I say more different from her, so, I mean, this one looks very similar, almost the same. That one looks pretty different. 
And we have the option to cross breed again, just like I did with the example from before. So I'm going to stop here. This has been Art Breeder at artbreeder.com. Uh, you can just go check it out. It doesn't cost anything. There is a paid version if you want to do that, but you don't have to. If you want to share stuff you made with me on my Discord, you can do that. The link is in the description. If you like this video, give it a like. Consider subscribing to the channel. Ring the bell for notifications. Comments are always welcome. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye now. Steve's Makerspace.